Hello, welcome back to Photonic Luminescence. Today I want to show you a pretty rare book. It's called 70 Watt Mill Halite Lab. So, let's get started. Now, I'm not going to be able to really show you the unboxing because I already put it in the fixture, but I'm going to show you that. So, it says here Edison, which is the company, Colored Metal Halite Lamps. The way Colored is written is actually the British way. Interesting. And then we have here the. It's cold, but. Metal Halite Lamp Blue. 70 watt RX7S base, which is this shape, and that's with UV stop. Again, with, this is the cover, and it's 70 watt. This is all we know from the bulb. Not really that much. We don't have any efficiency class, which is a little bit weird. But I already put it in its fixture. Oh, well, this is not a fixture, this is a halogen fixture. but it seems to match. We have the bulb inside. It's I don't know why. It's really annoying to put in the bulb. I guess sometimes it wants to work and sometimes it doesn't. And this is why our, it's already in its fixture. And I'm going to plug in the power meter, turn all of the lights off, and we're going to see how it performs. And I'm going to point it at the wall so it doesn't blink that much because you're going to see in a bit. Okay, so let's start it. There we go. We saw this magenta at the beginning, that's really an interesting color whenever I always see with this startup. I'm going, to, I'm going to point it at the wall because now it's not blinking, but it will blink and it might actually have to do something with the balance I'm using. It's a magnetic one, it's made also for high pressure sodium, that's why I really like it. But it's just not electronic and blinking is just a part of it. Yes, so I'm going to point this at some point at the wall. It's already blinking, but anyway, it's also getting blue. But as you can see, I'm only doing this over brightening it so it doesn't really blink that much. And I'm going to point it at the wall. So that's a little bit more convenient. And it is. Okay. I don't know why the camera just doesn't make its blue appear in real life. I really hate this because it's really a nice blue. It's like white but more bluish. You can see that you can actually read all of the information and this box still looks the way it looked in normal light. And it begins to flicker. I'm going to increase its brightness and it just seems so that this effect disappears a little bit more. But yes, it does flicker in real life and it's not the bulb's fault again. I've you I'm using a magnetic ballast and that's why. I mean it also does this the same, but lasts really with a high pressure sodium. I'm trying to show you some stuff here, but again it's just this you can see it's really horrible if we want to make it crisp quality. So I'm going to just increase the brightness so it's not that bad. Okay, so this is almost you know, over bright. <laughs> now this is too bright, but around some we can still look at it. Again, it's too much. So yeah, it's a really nice blue, and I really like it. And it's always overpowering it for no reason, apparently. Okay, really interesting. So I'm going to see. Again, this really likes, I'm going to try to point it maybe. Uh, yes. To see at least its color, this is sort of its color, which is in real life, so I'm pointing this upwards. Okay, I'm going to show you how um, the electrodes still glow, and it uses right now 83 watts. I'm not sure what the floss is, but okay, I'm too close, I'm going to switch it off. And we have the electrode still glowing. Not to mention that this is extremely hot. Especially the glass and the metal. Especially this part of the metal. Because the heat rises. So it's really really hot. I can still touch it because I didn't really use it for that long. But yeah it's extremely hot. So now what do I really have to say about this slide? It's really interesting that it's a color. I really 
four colored metal halides are a really cool concept and I really do think that this is really interesting because colored metal highlights really really cool and they're red, they're green ones but blue seems here in this case actually I don't know maybe it is still sold where all metal halides are still sold because of maybe for aquarium I read on Wikipedia for coral reefs and it does give actually this ocean blue so to say I really like that but yeah I don't know why but yeah so this is really interesting and so is its color getting it out or putting it in is somehow annoying but anyway this was it from my side if you have any questions as the information doesn't really prove it that much actually then leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I'm making such cool and rare lamps. But also leave a like if you thought this lamp was interesting as it is. And this was it again from my side. See you in the next video and goodbye.